Hello everyone, in last video we have studied the analytical synthesis of 4 bar mechanism using this Rudenstein equation and in this video we will be discussing the same uh, analytical synthesis of a slider crime mechanism using this Rudenstein equation for that and this will be studied by solving a problem. So here we have to synthesize an offset slider crime mechanism so that the displacement of the slider is proportional to square of the crank rotation. So in the previous problem for four bar mechanism, the relation between input and output, that is the input crank angle theta and output uh, angle uh, phi were given. But here such a function is not given, but they have mentioned that it is proportional to square of the crank rotation, that is displacement. So here the input is crank rotation theta, you can see. So this is the uh, slider crank mechanism. This is the crank which is having length L2. This dimension we have to find. That means by synthesizing this mechanism, we have to find this length L2. Then connecting rod which is connecting this crank and this slider that is L3. So this length also you have to find. And this slider is an offset means this line of motion is an, at a distance of E from this one. So the different dimensions we have to synthesize are L2, L3 and E. And here the general variables are given by the instantaneous position of the crank which is theta and the instantaneous position of the slider that is S. So that means in the four bar mechanism, the variables are theta and phi, which are uh, taking the angles for input and output link. But here the variables are theta and s. Theta is representing the angle of the crank and s is representing the displacement of the slider. So this will be forming the function and that functional relation is given based on that we have to create the function and uh, the interval of theta is given 45 degree to 135 that means if theta is a variable then its initial value theta i is 45 and theta f is 135 the distance of the slider from the crankshaft s should be 10 centimeter for theta 45 and 10 3 centimeter for theta equal to 135 this will be used for uh, finding the actual function between slider displacement s and the crank angle theta and here also we have to consider three precision point for synthesis synthesize. So first we will be formulating the Frudenstein equation or for we will be deriving the Frudenstein equation for this slider crank mechanism. So we will be seeing that now. So here you can see this uh, slider crank mechanism which is having an offset of distance E. L2 is the crank length and L3 is the connecting load length. So this length we have to find. And here I am uh, attaching a coordinate system with axis x and y. So here I can find, I am naming this, I have projected this point A and this points are coming on this line as M and N. So here I can find the length AB using Pythagoras equation. So AB square can be written as sum of AM square plus BM square. So here if you are looking AB is the length of the link 3 that is L3 and am is equal to the total distance an minus mn so here mn is equal to e and an you can obtain this an is equal to this l2 theta that is l2 sin theta will be giving you an that means here you can get am as l2 sin theta minus e in a similar way you can obtain the value of bm so this bm will be equal to this distance is the slider distance or the variable s and this distance you can calculate which is L2 cos theta. So S minus L2 cos theta you will be getting BM. So BM equal to S minus L2 cos theta. So you can substitute in this equation then you will be getting this expression L3 square equal to L2 sin theta minus E the whole square plus S minus L2 cos theta the whole square. So if you are uh, squaring and rearranging then you will be getting S square which is the slider displacement variable on the left hand side. On right hand side you will be getting 2L2 into S again coming cos theta, theta is also the variable plus 2L2 into E into sin theta plus L3 square minus L2 square minus E square. So here I will be calling this 2L2 as constant K1 and 2L2 E as K2 second constant and this complete thing as the third constant K3. Now you can write this expression as S square on left right equal to K1 into S again this slider displacement variable into cos theta, theta is the variable for this crank angle plus K2 into sin theta plus K3 and this one is known as the Frudenstein equation for this 4 bar mechanism which we are going to use for uh, the synthesis. So now for this specific problem we will be using this Frudenstein equation and if you are looking here three unknowns are there K1, K2 and K3 
and for solving these three unknowns three equations will have to be uh, formulated and that will be corresponding to for, so for formulating those three equations we'll have to apply the values for this variables s and theta that means we have to find s1 s2 s3 and theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 these points are known as the precision points or accuracy point and these points have to be calculated using the Chebyshev spacing so here the values for theta are given theta initially is 45 degree and theta final is 135 degree so the uh, points which are coming in between that is theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 are the precision points can be calculated using this expression so here theta i is this 45 theta f is 135 and n is the number of precision points n will be equal to 3 and j is according to which it this will be varying 1 2 3 so if you are substituting j as 1 then you will be getting theta 1 j 2 theta 2 and j 3 will be giving you theta 2 so if you are substituting correctly you will be getting the value of theta 1 as 51.3 degree theta 2 as 90 degree and theta 3 as 128.7 degree you will be getting so this is theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 now you have to obtain the values of s that is s1 s2 s3 for that you will be requiring the function that is existing between this s and theta so now we will be looking for that function so here it is mentioned that the slider displacement is proportional to square of the crank rotation so here the slider displacement can be represented in general as the slider variable s minus the initial position so s minus si will be giving you the displacement and this is proportional to the crank rotation that means theta for some position minus its initial position the whole square and this proportional design can be removed by using a constant c and this constant c we have to evaluate for completely defining this function and that can be evaluated by using another boundary condition that means this s can be substituted in, into sf then this theta can be substituted into theta f then you can find the value of this c now c will be becoming c will be equal to sf minus si divided by theta f minus theta i the whole square so sf is equal to 3 minus si is 10 divided by theta f is 135 minus 45 the whole square so this will be giving a value of minus 7 by 90 square so now we are having the c value this is 90 square so now you can have the function s minus si will be equal to c which is minus 70 divided by 90 square into theta minus theta i so this is the function that you are having and this function can be used for finding the precision points of the variable s means you are having this theta values as theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 you can substitute each at a time then you will be getting this values of s1 s2 and s3 so if you are substituting correctly you will be getting the value of s1 as 9.97 centimeter and s2 as 8.25 centimeter and s3 as 3.91 centimeter so these are the values of this uh, or the precision points of the variable s so now we are having the precision points of this s and theta so now you can substitute in the uh, Friedenstein equation for this slider crank mechanism so this is the Friedenstein equation for this slider crank mechanism where uh, for solving k1 k2 and k3 three unknowns three equations are required and these three equations will be formulated using this s1 s2 s3 and theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 then you will be getting the final three equations where you can substitute this s1 actually and then you will be getting three equations which can be solved simultaneously using this calculator then you can find the values of k1 k2 and k3 so if you are solving correctly this k1 value you will be getting as 9.61 and k2 value you are getting as 130.75 and k3 you will be getting as minus 62.75 if you are substituting correctly so now we are having k1 k2 k3 and this k1 k2 k3 are having relation between the length so that relation we will be revisiting and that will be used for finding the dimensions of link so here we are having the expression for k1 as equal to 2l2 and its value we have obtained is 9.61 hence we can find the length of this crank l2 as 4.805 and this again k2 is equal to expression is 2l2e in the beginning or the derivation we are having 
So now L2 we are having, so you can find E or the eccentricity for this offset stylocrine mechanism, which you will be getting as 13.606 centimeter. And finally, you can find the expression for K3 from which you can find, find this value L3, which is corresponding to the length of connecting rod and that you will be getting as 12.05 centimeter. So uh, we have obtained the solution or we have solved this problem for a four bar a slider crime mechanism using the analytical synthesis with the Friedenstein equation. So this is the complete procedure. So hope you understood and thanks for watching.